A buddy of mine just started playing World of Warships. We go back to Army Captain's career course and he recently stumbled upon one of my streams and thought Warships looked interesting. I gave him an idea what the game was about, pointed him to some of my videos, and even after watching them, he decided to take the plunge. And then the questions started coming. And then I remembered, this game is not easy for a beginner, nor is the game intuitive. After 10 rounds played, I pointed out to him he was playing against bots in co-op. He did not know that. I pointed him to how to play random battles. He decided to play co-op more to learn the game a little better. God bless his soul. He's already ahead of the crowd. He even lamented how players go rushing in no plan at all. Other questions came. Why is no one talking? I explained it's a chat system. He didn't know how to chat in-game. How would he? He didn't even know how to open the containers for some crates he got for creating an account. I'm certain the more I think about it, that more questions are to follow. Camouflage, doubloons, modules, captain skills, premium consumables. They're all coming. I can feel it. And that's fine. I'm more than willing to help out. But again, this highlights that the game isn't easy to play. Let's face it. A first-person shooter is almost always the same across the board. Chances are, someone installs the game, they can get up and running fairly easily. Weapons are simple enough. You get better weapons as you progress along, and for the most part, they shoot where you point. In Warships, you don't just need to worry about playing. You have to worry about an entire economy. Ship XP, free XP, camouflage, captain skills, and now... Coal, steel, copper, Molly What's-Her-Name, and a slew of other features that other games don't have to even consider at this level. On the surface, Warships looks like an easy game. But underneath that smooth river surface, there's a violent rip current sucking new players down and draining their will to play. It's no wonder many quit. It's also no wonder why many make it so far in the game without mastering concepts that some of us consider simple. Another army buddy of mine has about 3,000 rounds in, and he's just now finally getting the hang of things. Getting Krakens and all those other things we like doing. He's on the verge of getting over the 50% win rate hump. Imagine how much better his stats could be if he had a clue what he was doing the first thousand rounds. Then again, maybe he wouldn't be much better. Sorry, Chuck. You know I love you. Again, though, and I must reiterate, this game is not easy on beginners. It can be brutal. This is something us long-time players sometimes forget. While there are many times we love to complain about that tier 6, 7, or even tier 8 player that seems to have no clue about what they're doing, someone that makes it to tier 8 can still very much be a beginner. When you think about it, how many rounds does it really take to make it to tier 8? Even a mediocre player can do it in well under a thousand rounds or so. I mean, how often do you see a player with 500 rounds and expect them to be Unicum? So yeah, if you see a North Carolina sailing broadside or firing HE, there's a reason for that. Some players just don't know better. They're still new. It takes at least a thousand rounds to figure this game out. Unless you're just a natural or a very quick learner, and there are many players like that out there. Yeah, there's videos out there, but any video, whether created by Wargaming or a community contributor, only reaches a small portion of the total Warships playing population. Chances are, your casual players just won't see them. Relying on third-party videos really isn't a great strategy either. I know we always lament that keeping new players engaged and in the game for the long haul is the struggle. The established players will keep spending money on premium ships and accounts. But what about the new players? What about player growth? I've thought of a solution and how best to help these new players. It's fairly simple, and it's better than tossing them into co-op matches, which are still an uncontrolled environment. Again, looking at first-person shooters as an example, it's high time that Wargaming adds a campaign mode to the game. It doesn't have to be too intense, it can maybe be simple five missions. They can even borrow off of some of the operations to use them as a basis. 
but this creates an excellent opportunity to teach new players all aspects of the game. Have an in-game commander hold a new player's hand. Work it into the missions that when you are in port to gear up for the next mission, you need to use credits to buy modules. Tell the player to add captain skills. Make all those questions a new player has part of the campaign. Lead the horse to the water and force it to drink it. I'm not saying this should be a requirement, but you can make it so a player has to opt out of the new player campaign. Let them understand, though, what they'll be giving up if they opt out. And give them a reason to do the campaign, whether it's some special camouflage or some credits to spend. I'd advise against the premium ship. We don't want them jumping into higher tiers now, do we? Or make the campaign a requirement before players can actually play multiplayer. It won't affect anyone else. You know, the majority of players have been playing for quite some time. Really, a campaign makes the most sense. You can walk a new player through the paces in a controlled setting, while adding something to the game that virtually every other game has. A campaign mode offers completeness, and it brings the game in line with traditional non-multiplayer warship games. Outside of that, I really can't think of a better way to keep new players engaged. It's a trial by fire, and many players are getting weeded out. But this isn't like officer candidate school where the weak are weeded out. Players are still sticking with the game, but they're not learning, and it's not their fault. We owe it to them to help them. We owe it to ourselves to help them, most of all for our sanity. And Wargaming definitely owes it to them, for their growth. Plus, once those same players do get the hang of it, I'm sure they're more likely to spend more of their hard-earned cash. What do you all think? A campaign won't affect you all, either way, unless you want a completion badge or whatever would be awarded for completion. Do you think this is a good way to help new players? I want to know. Anyhow guys, hope things are going well, hope ranked gameplay is going great for you all, and I will catch you all later. I am out.